Hi mom, I'm stuck I'm trying to fix this sewing machine. This is the bottom of it. And I thought maybe if I showed it to you, you'd have an idea. Okay, this is the gear that I replaced. These set screws came off and this slid off. Okay, this is the gear that's on the end of the drive shaft. You see if I move it, you might be able to follow it here. That steel rod down in the back there. Not the not this one up front, but the one in the back in that hole. If you follow it, you can see there's another gear on it there. And there's part of the shaft. And then it comes over to this belt. So when the needle goes up, you know, the motor turns the um, shaft goes around and that turns and it gets there. Well, when I watch the videos on replacing this um, gear, you know, you just undo these two set screws, pull it off and put the new one on, it shows this gear as having set screws on it also, but mine doesn't. You can spin it all the way around and there's nothing in there. And what's happening is the drive shaft is spinning and this gear is only turning part of the time. It's like it's not tight enough on the shaft. And I don't understand. I'm almost thinking somebody might have replaced that gear and put the wrong one on it. Because what's going to hold it on that shaft? tight so that when the drive shaft turns it also turns. Now see if I turn it here by hand it turns. So it's engaged with the new gear down here that's going to turn my hook but by motor see if I turn the hand thing up here if you follow it back you can see it's turning see all the other gears are moving but it doesn't have an it's not tight enough on the shaft the shaft is moving and when I look in this crack um, in here you can see there's a uh, washer that looks like it's a type of spring like it, it, the washer is bent and so it holds some tension against this gear to hold it against this gear this tension spring and I thought maybe that was it, that this this bent washer type of spring here, I don't know what they call those, but I thought maybe that was worn and not put in enough pressure. But it if that's not panning out because if you turn this side, it is engaged with that gear. It's just if you turn the drive shaft, the gear the the shaft is spinning and the gear this gear is not attached to it. And without having set screws like this gear has, I don't know how that would have ever been attached to the drive shaft. Um, when I watch the movies on YouTube, I can't find this exact model but there's other singers and this gear all has set screws on this this bottom piece here so you tighten it to the drive shaft and so I'm almost suspicious that somebody replaced that with the wrong one Ugh! I don't know do you have any ideas on, wh on how or why that drive shaft was spin and not turn that gear because it's only turn it part of time and so of course that throws the timing off I mean, I, I got it figured out how to set the timing, but it's not going to hold in place if that gear doesn't turn. You see, you look in here, let me shine the light in there. Let's see. Ah, wrestle with the light. That shaft in there has a line on it that you want to match up with the bar. And then down here, which basically puts the needle, when you, when you match that timing line up, 
it basically puts the needle bottomed out and then one sixteenth of an inch on its way back up right there and when that needle is there those lines on that bar line up and then this which is the hook that picks up the thread when it goes around that hook needs to be exactly behind the eye of the needle when it's one sixteenth of the way up so setting it right there sets the timing okay I got all that figured out but now you put it all back together it in, in the timing is instantly knocked off because that gear isn't the shaft is spinning inside of that gear that gear isn't tight it's not moving and I don't understand why it worked before although when I really think about it it didn't work properly before I was always having problems with the bottom tension and the thread gobbing up and ugh, I'm stuck what do you think? I wish I had the manual so I could see if, if that's a wrong part that somebody else might have put in there. Um, my other hypothesis is that this isn't holding enough tension, but that, that's just not really panning out because that would just push this against the other gear and, and it is pushed against it. What it is not is tightened to the shaft and without a gear like this one that has the metal piece on the bottom with the set screws I don't know how you would tighten it to the shaft see the gear down here that attaches to the drive belt has set screws on it and the gear down here that turns this has set screws on it and that's you know what keeps them tight on the drive shaft so follow the drive shaft down to this one and there's no set screw to tighten it onto the shaft and so you spin the shaft and the gear just sits there so what do you think you think they put a wrong part in there on me okay Talk to you later. Bye-bye.